Power Raising Cain in Power Book 3 comes on. And I've got a little snippet for you talking about the cast. And when we're done, I want you guys to, with the panel, tell me who you think is going to be the show stealer for this coming Power Book. Take a look. I already know. But Symphony is the good guy in a bad world. I play Detective Shannon Burke. She's a third generation Irish American cop, but a new detective. Playing Lulu is, is a relief sometimes. <laughs> He's way cooler than I am, so it's really dope to have him be that smooth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So That's I'm, great. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go through I'm gonna go through all the characters and give you what I think about them. So and then I want you guys to talk about it. So first one, you got the mom. I've kind of already said on my review, I think the mom is in over her head in the drug game. Then you've got Kanan himself, and I think his is going to be a coming-to-age story. And then you've got one person that's going to be in my top two for show stealers, Omar Epps, the crooked cop, crooked like the letter <laughs> is. Then you got this homie right here, Lulu, who I think is going to be the fan favorite, the show stealer, because people hated him so bad on Snowfall. I think that mm -hmm. they got his character being so much of a lover in this show. And then... <laughs> White ladies, we got the snow bunnies, which is the opposite of Karen's, but sometimes they become Karen's because they get their feelings hurt at the snow bunny. And whenever you're talking <laughs> about a snow bunny, that means she's giving up them panty draws. So y'all be prepared for that. Mm -hmm. And then we've got this brother right here. He's going to be the Bobby Brown of the show. Just keep that in mind. <laughs> and then last but not least, we got Jukebox. So I'll start with you, Moochie. Okay. What you think about what you think about his mother? I don't so much think that she's not over, over, over her head in the drug game. I feel like she has to earn her respect in it. Because okay. you gotta look at, keep in mind that she is working with her brothers. <clears throat> so okay. they probably don't want her to handle too much. Which means you over you in over your head if you're trying to handle too I much, was, right? I, I wouldn't no. Like she has to earn it. They don't want to. They don't want it. They don't want to just give it to her. They. She's gonna have to earn it. Okay. All right, Larry. From what you can recall, what do you think this character is gonna be like? Yeah, she's. I can already tell you just what I've seen in the trailer. She's gonna be my favorite. I like Patina Miller to begin with. Oh. And oh. Yeah, man. I love me some Patina oh. Miller. From when I saw her when she used to be on Madam Secretary to the Hunger Games. Man, I love this. I love this woman. She is a fantastic <laughs> actor. And I, I think she's going to be the one that's still, that's going to be like the one still in this whole series. I think she's going to set, she's going to be setting it off. So I take right there, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're going to go to this brother right here. I'll come back to you, Mooch. This is Kanan Stark. Tell me about him. We're going to get to see how he gets down and dirty from the beginning because he's trying to make a mark in this. So is he gonna be the? Is he gonna be like, like the tr with the, with the hammer all the time getting it in? Because <laughs> his whole little crew, they gotta come up. What you mean? Like so, so you all time talk about somebody with them damn hammers? Can we put the hammers down? Is he gonna get the hammer? Can we put the hammers down for a minute, man? We we not okay. working on no. the construction but site. But give me the hammer and lock and key. I ain't even get to her yet. Oh. See. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Mookie is on fire tonight. Larry, take the wheel, Larry. Take the wheel. Take the wheel. Take the wheel. Woo. You don't, I don't even think know he if I can. Mookie didn't drop his butt off the road. Mookie no, didn't kill it. I, I think, I I think he's going to be shooting, but not this season. I think it's going to be next season. They already don't renew it. You don't think he's going to catch a body this season? No, he's going to catch one for sure. But right. I don't think he's going to be... That's all I'm going to say. I don't think he's going to be ruthless Kanan that we see in no, power. No, but we're going to watch the come up, though. This yeah. is what yeah. we see. Yeah. yeah. Is he going to be getting his ass whooped every day when he turns into the sky? Or, or what? We, we got to see all of this. Well, I guess we're going to see the damn hammers, man. I, 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 I told you. Look. I, ahead, have a feeling, I have a feeling that this character is going to be... <laughs> He's going to be good, but he's not going to be the he's not going to be the one that everyone shows up to watch. No, no, he's not. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you that I'm telling you he's going to be an integral part of the story, but he yeah. might not be the most intriguing part yeah. of the story. 
Because the story, I, I mean, obviously, we already know that the story, the whole story is centered around him. I mean, we know this, but I just don't think that he's going to be the most interesting part of it. I think I wouldn't be at all surprised if we watch this and people are start talking about spinoffs with other characters. Oh, you know? oh man. Well, look, let look. me ask you all this. Yeah. Do you think that the mother's going to be messing with Omar Epps' character? <laughs> Hell yeah. And, and he's next anyway. So Mooch, go ahead. Talk we about already Omar see Epps that. Character. We already see that dynamic in in uh power in, in uh Ghost Power Book Two or Power Book Two Ghost, whatever they call it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. He already yeah. just said he crooked. He played both sides of the fence, and you know, oh. you know everybody need to get them a little panty draws here and there. So break them down. All right. Mooch, well, we don't. We all we know is that Kane's mother's not the lock and key for the season. <laughs> We so so let me guess this gonna be Miss Lock and Key, huh? Yes, that's, that's you try, Lock and Key. You trying to put it on her already? See, see, I'm, I'm, right, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do these reviews alone. That's what I'm gonna do, and, <laughs> and I do not I do not want to see nobody putting no Lock and Key in the comments the comment section. But I'll finish what you gonna say about him? With him? Yep. I think you we gonna see how dirty he really is. He probably gonna be taking money. Telling them who's their competition. He Set might up the competition. Exactly. Mooch. Yeah, he might is. he might get in so deep that he holds sexual favors over Kanan's mama. I I'll tell you, I this is this is the thing with his with Omar Epps, right? And I hope that I hope this role is really, really good for him because I've seen him. I mean, we've all seen him in a lot of stuff. And oftentimes I'm left feeling like he's one dimensional when I see him, his performances. And I'm just like, not to say he's a bad actor. He just comes off as one dimensional. And I hope this character allows him to like how. sort of expand on that and show that he's that he's more than what the roles they've given him. Because I don't feel like he's really get, have been given a role that shows shows all his talent. I think and I'm for, me, his, his, for me, probably the best role that displayed a good majority of his talent was love and basketball. Yeah, but then and we that got was a, 20 years ago. I was about to he say, was in house. Y'all didn't watch that? I saw that, but he I didn't care. I didn't, okay. I didn't really care for him in house. And the he last was, thing, the last thing I saw him in was the shooter. And he was very one dimensional in the shooter. But I guess that role, like Larry said, didn't call for much in the shooter. Right. But he was just straight one dimensional in the shooter. And I love this dude. This dude, this dude I'd be forgetting he's on my top 10 favorites list. I love this dude. This dude, I love this guy. I want to see him in, I want to see him in something great. Something I hope this is it. I was hoping he was gonna go to the MCU, but hey, everybody can't be in the MCU right now, especially at his age. But we'll you, see. You remember what it was mostly the teenagers. Do you remember? Um, do you remember this show, this movie a while back? With I think it was a movie. It might have been a series with uh, with Don Cheadle called. I think it was called uh, Sleeper Cell. Or I never somebody, saw he, it, but I heard people talking. That was about a movie, it. right? I think so. Where he played? Yeah, he played a, a undercover, uh, an undercover FBI agent, I believe it was, or CIA agent that was undercover as a as a uh, as a Muslim terrorist, and. And I was thinking to myself, a role like that for Omar Epps, I think, would be fantastic because it would really allow him to show his acting range. And I feel like he's often – I don't feel like he's had roles that allowed him to do that. And I'm assuming that he has range because, I mean, I felt like I saw it a little bit in Love and, in, uh, Love and Basketball, but I haven't seen it otherwise. And so, you know, I, I – anyways – I hope this role is. I hope this is a breakout role for him. Like, a, it's not like he's. It's not like he's an unknown quantity. But I feel like he's not a household name. And I feel like something like this could be a breakout role that gets him into to roles that could make him a household name. All right, Mooch. This brother right here that I said is going to be the showstopper, the show stealer, yeah, fan favorite. I, what I you think, think about this guy? Be Lulu. You do too, because you got to keep in mind Lulu's going to be with the rappers and stuff because he's in the music business. Oh, he got his feet in that. Okay, and um, I think I think he's gonna be the one that's like he got his feet in both worlds in in the drug game as well as the music. 
Oh, so he gonna he gonna be crooked like the cop too. He gonna be the crooked letter, crooked letter is okay. Joe, <laughs> there, Larry. Using, you know, using the drug money to fund his music stuff. Right. So. Go ahead, Larry. Yeah, I, I just have to say that I just from like just listening to him in this little quick blurb, this little interview, the little snippets that you played. He has he has a type of personality that people just seem to gravitate to. I can see him just really coming through whatever role he plays. I can see him really coming through though on something like this and and people just liking him. Like people wanting to see him with more screen time. You mm -hmm. know, I would mm -hmm. not be at all surprised if how much ever screen time he has in season 1 if during season 2 people are like we need more of him. And right. and and he right. comes back with more screen time cuz he just seems like his his just his from his real life, you know, self, he seems like he's that type of dude. Like, oh shit, I can hang out with this dude. This dude seems like he's cool. Yeah, you know. So, we'll see though. We'll see. All right, Moochie, since you want to be lock and key, talk about this <laughs> Detective Shannon Burke, the she the is snow the snow bunny who is not going to be lock and key. Thank you very much. Okay, so she's the detective. She's gonna be messing with on one episode probably. Mm. That would be an interesting twist. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, so that would definitely be an interesting twist. I got you stuttering now. Golly. I got you stuttering. So you <laughs> Larry, know. take the wheel. You know, I, can't, I, can't, I can't get no help from Moochie. Take the wheel, Larry. Lord. <laughs> Larry, say something nice about the snow bunny. Um, she, she ain't got nothing look, nice. She doesn't look unlike Angela. You know? She's in the same vein. She's very yeah, close. It, 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 it seems like they might have a, uh, they seem, it seems like they might be doing a something similar, a law enforcement officer hooking up with someone corrupt. And it just might be that the corrupt person this time is also a law enforcement officer. So, it's, I mean, I think Mooch could be right where, where Omar X's character ends up in a love triangle. Oh. Or it could, you know. With good and evil. <laughs> I would say be, Kane might be end up with her, but I think Kane is with Detective Shannon. Oh Lord! I was going to say maybe Kane could end up with her, but I think Kane is too what? young to Shop end up with her. Vanilla. Yeah, but I think Kane is too young in this in this part of the series. But I definitely could see her ended up, you know, messing with uh because she's a new detective. Apparently, like Omar Epps is like this sort of seasoned detective that's corrupt. I could see him and her maybe hooking up. Yuck. Not gonna happen. Uh, well, she's gonna I, be that cop that everybody don't like, and she might be that. She might be that. She's gonna be that bit that pit bull in the skirt. We'll see. All right, Mooch, right back to you. Joey Badass as unique. Talk about this brother. Oh, he got he got his real eighties gear on. <laughs> <laughs> Looking just got, like I mean, Bobby nice. Brown. Uh huh. <laughs> now who and he? Little step I take. Is he the is he is he the um their competition or is he with them? Well, we don't know yet. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm gonna think he's gonna be competition. That's what I'm thinking. So he just he just has that dark look. And when I say yeah. dark people, I'm not talking about his skin tone. He's got on the black shirt, the black coat that's matched, then he's got on his big gold chain. He just looked like he's gonna be an adversary to Lulu, in my opinion. Yeah, he looked like he's gonna be a thorn in somebody's side. You better believe it. You better believe that. Mm -hmm. What you think about what you think about old unique Joey Badass? Um I don't know, man. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes when I see rappers when they start acting, they some some of them come off as really sort of blah. Like they haven't fully embraced the acting thing and they're not letting go yet. And I kind of got that vibe from here, from him here, but I need to see him in character doing his thing and see how he how he he performs. But sometimes I feel like when actors start, I mean, when rappers start acting, they're just not fully they're not fully in, engaged in embracing it. I think they feel like they may, you know, like their audience, their rap audience, may be looking at them sideways or something if they fully give into the role. I think I think it doesn't happen until later when they've started, you know, once they've been in the game for you know, four or five years and they've been acting that they finally really just let it go and, and acting becomes more of a priority than rapping. And then then you see that shift happen. But he's I'm a not, rapper? I, yeah. <coughs> no, I never even heard so, of 
So Maybe. we'll see. I don't know. I mean, I I hope he does well. I hope he does well. But I mean, it seems like if you're trying to be sort of a hard dude, anyways, a role like he's playing might be good for him, where he can sort of sink his teeth into and not feel like he's, you know, it's not too much of a stretch. But we'll see. I'm going to reserve judgment on him. Last but definitely not least, Moochie. Talk about jukebox, young jukebox. We're going to see why she turned out the way she did. <laughs> because from what I'm hearing, she was basically um, trying to get into the business, the music industry. And she, she, um, and her father's the, the um, her, her father is the drug dealer. So mm. her father is, um, that's, actually Kanan's cousin um jukebox so right. they related so i guess her his her father's Kanan's uncle okay larry what you think about the jukebox yeah man i was liking i, I really liked her energy when she was talking i just really liked her energy and i hope that translates through to her character she just seemed to have she seemed to be like just bubbling over with it and and when we saw Jukebox older, ju Jukebox was like, she was pretty high strung at times. You know, she was ready just to straight put holes in people. So mm -hmm. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to, uh, to seeing her. Right. I think yes, Jukebox is going to be straight. With this. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, post your comments down below.